Minnesota Highway 210 runs through Jay Cook State Park following the St. Louis River. The highway is surrounded by steep slopes and deep valleys. A major storm in 2012 flooded the entire valley and caused extensive damage to the road and surrounding area. Landslides and road washouts occurred in more than 80 different places along the highway, and three miles of Highway 210 have remained closed to the public. Immediately following the flood, a bike trail was the only way to access the Jay Cook State Park headquarters. All other accesses had washed out. The Minnesota Department of Transportation worked with the Department of Natural Resources as well as Minnesota Power to prioritize repairs and began completing the first round by late summer 2012. Emergency repairs were completed by October 2012 to restore access and basic operations to the park and to provide access to Minnesota Power's hydroelectric facility. The repairs included a new bridge by Oldenburg Point that was completed in fall 2013. As the owner of the highway, MnDOT needed to decide what to do after the emergency repairs were complete. To help guide future investment in this section of the highway, an extensive two-year decision-making and public engagement process took place. MnDOT partnered with the Arrowhead Regional Development Commission to gather public input regarding the future of the roadway. Given the challenges of fully repairing this highway, consideration was given to closing Highway 210 to through traffic and converting it from a state highway to a low-maintenance park access road. After several public meetings with input from stakeholders, the decision was made to reopen the road as a through route with continued ownership and maintenance by MnDOT. To reopen a route that was safe for the traveling public, the project design needed to repair current damage and prevent future damage caused by flooding and erosion. Working closely with the DNR, MnDOT teamed with local design and construction firms to rebuild the highway and stabilize the surrounding slopes using cost-effective and innovative solutions such as geo-web walls and anchor-reinforced vegetation. The team worked hard to locate and protect historic sites in the park and to integrate the technical requirements of this project with natural-looking designs and native vegetation. Construction on the damaged highway began in September 2015 and was completed in September 2017. The total project cost was $21.3 million. Federal emergency funds covered 80% of the project cost and the other 20% was covered from state emergency funds. MnDOT and the DNR have worked diligently over the past five years to ensure that the roadway and slope repairs for this project incorporated stakeholder input and were designed with the park and its users in mind. The end result is an improved Highway 210 that is safer for the traveling public, reduces the likelihood of future damage from flooding and erosion, and maintains the natural beauty of Jay Cook State Park. To learn more about the project, visit www.mndot.gov forward slash D1 forward slash projects forward slash HWY 210 future. And to plan your next visit to Jay Cook State Park, please visit www.mndnr.gov forward slash jcook.